Either you're lying to this committee or you don't know what's happening at the border. Um, I'm just, I heard this gentleman just say he was trying to present himself for asylum and, he, and they were told, he was told he couldn't. And you are who? I just know that I overheard him say, and I'm trying to find out, are you guys not taking people at the port of entry? Um, we are taking people in order. They are to go to UNAMI and UNAMI is taking a list and then they are presented here. Can you please put the camera down? No, I won't. Ma'am, would you please stop recording? I'm not. I have rights too. Yes. What is your what? Why? What is the it's right on me not to be able to record? Well, I have a right to safety. And why is this a safety and I don't issue? Know you. Okay, you? I'm a member of the United States Congress. Okay. Can I have your card here's my here's my federal ID. Mm -hmm. I'm behind a, I'm behind a fence, and she says she has a safety concern. Look at that. I'm behind a fence. And she says she has a safety concern. Because you're... And I've just given her an ID showing her I'm a member of the United States Congress. But she and your boss, recording. Secretary Nielsen, will be before my committee. You testified that asylum seekers are not being turned away at the ports of entry. Was that your testimony here today? They are not turned away. Okay, well, let me tell you, Madam Secretary, either you're lying to this committee or you don't know what's happening at the border. And I have been there firsthand and I have seen it twice. More recently, it just happened on Saturday when I happened to be crossing the border with my mother. And I heard a gentleman say, I'm from Honduras, I want to apply for asylum. He was already at the turnstile at the Ped West entry. And the agent said, sir, unless you have a visa, you need to leave, you need to go away. They didn't say what you just said people do. They didn't say, here is where you go get on a list. They didn't say, here is the information where you go get access to counsel. As a matter of fact, I pulled out my phone, I started to record, and you know what? I was asked to stop recording. And here they are trying to get this gentleman to leave who's trying to present himself for a port of entry. No, this is what for, is happening at the border, folks. He's presenting himself at the port of entry. And he has no documentation, and Unami will take him to the, the um, area and put him on the list. Okay, but where, wonder what authority does it say that you need to be on a list? Lady, we're trying to get home. Can you please do your thing later? We need to get home. And can, can you, you please us back? turn the phone off? I'm not going to turn the phone off because I know what's happened at the port of entries is not what's in accordance with the law. And I have a duty to report when you all aren't doing your job at the port of entry. This is an administration that is not following the rules and this is exactly what's happening to port of, people at the port of entry. The president says he wants people to do this the legal way. The legal way is to present yourself at a port of entry. It's legal to request asylum. And I'm just observing and pointing out what is, what is happening. So this gentleman said he has nowhere to go. His child is crying now because he's afraid. And now people are telling him to leave because the border patrol will not process any one person. And so they're, they're, they're basically making him leave. They're making him leave because Miss Daly over here basically says she will not let a single person through unless I stop recording. They don't want the American people knowing what is happening at that southern border. And Madam Secretary, I don't know if you know what's happening or if this is happening without you knowing, but it's totally unacceptable. And as a member of this committee, you're darn right I'm going to hold this you accountable for knowing what's happening at the bottom. Do you know, do you know that two members of Congress had to sleep overnight and spend 14 hours in the cold on the concrete at the Otay May support of entry so that Maria, the woman who was tear gassed at the port of entry, would be allowed to present herself because she was on U.S. soil and legally that's what asylum allows? Did you know that? Ma'am, what I know is I would ask you... Yes or no, did you know that two members of Congress had to do that? I know that we have a process. Okay, you I obviously tried. don't know. But see, this is what I'm saying. You don't know these things. Two members of Congress. Does it take two members of Congress to be there to witness somebody presenting themselves uh, for asylum at the port of entry? That's not what the law says. Are you familiar?